It is a radical document. Uh, it was a revolutionary document and it's there. The Lord Mayor of Belfast explains what the Proclamation of Independence means to Republicans. It now hangs in his parlour at Belfast City Hall, alongside a picture of the United Irishmen. Niall O'Donnell removed a picture of the Queen Mother and Prince Charles to make way for them, a decision which he says he took in order to reflect all the cultural traditions in the city. When I entered two weeks ago, there were four portraits uh, of various members of the British royal family up uh, around nine spaces in the parlour. So obviously that was uh, quite unrepresentative and unbalanced in relation to the makeup of the city. So I have begun a process to try and uh, make this place a bit more reflective of Belfast as a whole. Um, from the beginning, uh, I made clear I wanted to be a mirror for all of the citizens. Uh, so that's why I appreciate and recognise that there are people with an affinity to the British royal family. I kept. Uh, the Queen and her husband uh, in the parlour. Niall is the third Sinn Féin Lord Mayor in Belfast, the first being Alex Maskey in 2002, who at the time placed a tricolour beside the Union flag in his private office. Niall is the first Sinn Féin Mayor to change the pictures in the parlour, which has annoyed the DUP's deputy leader at the City Hall. Her Majesty the Queen Mother and the Prince of Wales are both very respected figures, um, and the decision to exclude their portraits from the parlour will cause hurt and offence throughout the community. When Niall became the Lord Mayor, he said that working with young people was one of his priorities. There's no one in public life who has a more consistent record of working with young people than the Prince of Wales through the Prince's Trust, which does work with disadvantaged young people. So I think this decision is, is backward looking, I think it's negative, and I think it uh, sends out the wrong message. The Lord Mayor has deliberately left two spaces free here on the walls of the parlour because he wants members of the ethnic communities to come up with ideas of what would most represent their traditions. He will then hang whatever they want in this parlour beside the Queen and the Proclamation of Independence. Jane Lockery, UTV Live at Belfast City Hall.